Which one of these is correct? Number one. Number two. Or number three. The answer is all of them. Or none of them. It doesn't matter how you fret anything. If the sound is right, it doesn't really matter. But think about this the next time you're arguing with your guitar teacher that you've got a better way to fret it because this guy on YouTube told you and he's got neck tattoos. If the angle of your fingers does not match the angle of your knuckles, you're going to get tension, you're going to get difficulty. Like D, for example, if you fret D like this, that makes sense. This finger is higher than the other fingers. The same as these knuckles. This knuckle is higher than those knuckles. I can move my hand around, I've got a lot of freedom in movement with my finger. If I switch these two around, if I learn D like this, oh, I put that one there, I put that one there, oh no, that's in the wrong place, I've got to use that one, I'm over there, ah. Oh. Now this finger is higher than your index finger. That's not what these knuckles are doing, and it limits the movement of my hand. I have to do this here. It's tension in my elbow, it's tension holding everything tight. It keeps your hands stuck, you can't move anywhere. Some calls you can't get away from, from that kind of misalignment of your knuckles, which is why C is difficult. But generally, think about anchor points, think about fingers that lead to other common chords. That will give you the best indication of which way to fret any chord, what makes sense to you. Just think about it before you just listen to any random TikTok person who says, Oh, I got a new way to play D! Look at this one, guys! How do you know? How do you know what I'm doing? <laughs>